and welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you so much for joining me, where today I'm reviewing Ninja Girl and Samurai Master, uh, at least the first 52 episodes of it. There may be more seasons coming, who knows. This is a, an ONA, a set of three-minute episodes, uh, airing weekly, uh, based on a four-coma manga, which means it is a four-panel comedy manga, you know, think Peanuts or um, uh, Calvin and Hobbes over here in America, but almost always a gag manga of some kind, uh, where all the characters are super deformed. Uh, so they're, they're all in this sort of cutesy, weird style. What's particularly interesting is it's a historical comedy at its base. It's set during the Warring States period, uh, so around 1600 AD, roughly, focusing on Oda Nobunaga, a warlord who attempted to unify Japan at the end of this Warring States period. <clears throat> so it's a real historical period, starring mostly real historical characters. Uh, while this is very much a goofy, screwball comedy, it does follow Oda Nobunaga's conquests and battles, and gives you a basic overview of the major characters and fights of Nobunaga's career. So it's silly, but it's as accurate as you can get in these three minute chunks of a comedy show. Uh, the art is bright, and the character designs very much SD and super deformed, which can be disorienting during a major battle as characters stand around the, the bleeding bodies of like super deformed, you know, uh, Japanese warriors. Uh, but the show does play off that weird juxtaposition sometimes as well. So, like, it is kind of intentionally um, odd that you, you get that. And you'll get a, a really cute character that's spurting blood, you know. Uh, and it, it's, it's meant to be comedy as well. That said, there are some serious moments in the show, which uh, did impress me. And each episode moves at a surprisingly efficient clip. Um, short episodes like this tend to move at a, this very fast pace with actors rushing through their lines, uh, but this moves at a, a more balanced stride. It didn't feel like I was watching a rushed three-minute episode. It's also surprisingly high budget. Uh, characters move a lot when you know it's time to, and they remain rigorously on model throughout the show. I don't recall a single moment when a character looked at all different than what they looked like at any other time in the show. So, you know, good on them there. Um, that said, it is based on a four coma SD comic, so you know characters fill the frame, and there's not a lot of dynamism to character angles. It's mostly you know character here and character here talking to each other, so um, it won't generally shock you with how the the frames are composed in the show. Um, but it, it works, no problems there. Moving on to the characters. Um, the, the show's main character is Chittery, a teenage shinobi slash ninja uh, who works for Oda Nobunaga. She has the personality of a bubbly eight-year-old, though, um, combined with the skills of a master assassin, which the show does highlight for humor a few times. Again, there's this inten intentional juxtaposition of cute with bloody. Um, it might seem out of place, but it actually serves as a helpful counterbalance to the heaviness of this time period. Nobunaga is directing huge armies in massive wars, after all, and always, you know, has to be careful for betrayal around every corner. So seeing that through the eyes of a happy-go-lucky character keeps the tone overall cheerful, when otherwise I think it would be a, a little darker. The staff also does a very good job of establishing each character's relationship with each other. The various uh, female characters around Nobunaga, including Chittery and Nobunaga's wife, uh, center him, and they keep him from going into these very dark places that even the real Nobunaga was known for going uh, into. This is a conqueror, and he needs gentle people about him to balance that, which the show does express. Um, and in general, the personalities in here are well expressed. Like, you, you can tell who's whom, and they balance each other quite well. This does get to the dialogue. Um, characters very much have different ways of speaking, and while it's all in modern Japanese, you know, they don't try to make it sound historical, they do speak differently depending on their personalities. Nobunaga is slightly clipped and thoughtful, but quick to praise people, while Chidori is forthright and plain speaking and just, eh. 
uh, while Nobunaga's wife is refined and elegant. Uh, to that point, the uh, the voice acting in, in general struck me as strong but unremarkable. Um, they're being more comedic than realistic in the delivery of their lines. So while the tone is always right to deliver the joke, I wasn't hanging on every word the, the way I do in some shows. Um, the In other words, the voice acting is effective, um, but I wouldn't call it hugely memorable. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the show, and it, fit, it fits its format you know, quite, quite well. Um, I really hope we get another season, because I think there's there's plenty to, to, to delve into here. And it should be re you know, remarked that we have 52 episodes, three, three minutes long, but still, um, and we're still not anywhere near the end of Nobunaga's life. So there's plenty more here to cover, and I'm very glad of it. I think this is, this is a fun show with enough historical accuracy to actually educate um, along with its entertainment. And for that, tip of the hat to Ninja Girl and Samurai Master. Um, so I hope you found this useful, and I hope if you like this kind of thing, you check out the show. Uh, until next time, I hope you watch more interesting anime.